because so we're focusing on detecting the individual microclassifications because clustering is kind of trivial once you have the microclassifications. So our method, what we do is we take a mammogram, we filter it, um, looking for bright regions because you can see microclassifications tend to be locally bright in the image. Um, and naturally, this is it gives you a lot of false positives, but it's a starting point. We filter a lot of the pixels in the image. And then what we do is we take a bunch of uh, measurements um, describing the microclassification, and uh, then we put it through what's called supervised learning. We give it examples. The, um, the human will actually pick out points represented by these red dots here. So these are training points. We say that those are microclassifications. And so then the supervised learning techniques learn what, based on these measurements, what the microclassification is. And then um, we can give it an unknown sample, like so, and say, is this a microclassification? Is it not? And it'll actually spit out, um, it'll actually detect the microclassifications that we didn't train on. And so then what we can do, like I said, we can cluster these once we process an uh, image that we haven't. We have no training samples on, and then it'll give us something like this without the red dots. Um, and then we'll cluster it, and then we'll hand this to a radiologist. He'll say, Yeah, this is cancer. We need to biopsy and actually verify. Um, because even radiologists can't just look at a ma uh, mammogram and say, This person has cancer. They can make a guess and a high probable chance that they do have cancer, but still, it has to be verified through biopsy in the lab. So you just maybe more active to be able to do that. And so the idea here is we make this more efficient for the radiologist. So we would take it, once the mammogram's taken, the software is run, it'll take these points, cluster them, and say this is a high probable chance of this being cancer. Uh, the radiologist needs to look at this. So, um, and that's the idea. And commercial software exists for this type of thing now but they have too many false positives, so the radiologist tends to um, ignore the results because they're spending all their time looking at them anyway, so what's the point of the software? So we're trying to minimize the amount of false positives and keep the amount of accuracy. So it's much